Okay, let's take a look at pedestrian crossings. I'll explain using some diagrams and then we'll go out in the car and I'll show you some examples. Here we see the zebra crossing. As you come up to it, you may see the triangular warning sign for a pedestrian crossing. You will definitely see the bleacher beacons, as they're called, which flash on and off when it's dark. So you've got your usual routine on approach, mirrors, signal, position, speed, look. So as you come up to a zebra crossing, check your mirrors, see if there's anyone behind in case you need to brake. There's no need for a signal or to change your position because you're not going anywhere. So what you do is look well ahead. If there's anyone near the crossing, come up at a speed where you could stop if you need it to. Don't try and race anyone to it. If you've got someone definitely waiting to cross, pull up at the giveaway line, handbrake on, don't rev your engine. If someone's crossing from left to right, you don't have to wait for them to get to the other side of the road. So long as they're reasonably past your car, you can be on your way. If you pull up and someone's stood there and they're not moving, don't beckon people out. Just make eye contact with the pedestrian and they will decide when to cross or not. The zigzag lines that you see painted on the road mean no parking or overtaking within that area. If you parked a car there, you would block the view of the crossing. Cars wouldn't see pedestrians until they were here, which is probably far too late to stop. You can, however, overtake a pedal cycle. If you're in a queue of traffic, don't do that. Make sure that you can fit the whole of your vehicle over the crossing before you commit yourself. Otherwise, just wait at the giveaway line. So that goes for all the crossings. Don't park near them, don't block them, don't wave people out. Make sure you plan well ahead. Here we have the Pelican crossing, which is traffic light controlled. The normal sequence of traffic lights is red, red and amber together, green, amber on its own, red. At a Pelican crossing, it is red, flashing amber, green, amber, red. The flashing amber light means give way to anyone still on the crossing. So when the lights are red, pull up at the stop line. If the lights start to flash amber and there's no one there, just be on your way. If someone is in the business of crossing, just wait and let them finish. This Pelican Crossing has an island in the middle, but because it's in a straight line, it counts as one single crossing. So if this person starts walking across and gets here, and it starts to flash amber, you must wait for them to get to the other side of the road. A Pelican Crossing is counted as two crossings if it's staggered like this. Because these lights can be on red, which means these cars have to stop, while these can continue. The pedestrians then walk around and press the button for another set of lights. So now these can be green and these are red. Just to confuse you, a zebra crossing is two crossings even when it's in a straight line like this. So while these people are crossing this side of the road, cars have to wait here. When the people have reached the island, these cars can now go, but these cars have to wait. So you see the zebra crossing is the simplest crossing, it's a giveaway line and some stripes on the road, but it can be the most difficult to deal with because you have to plan ahead and watch what people are doing rather than just responding to traffic lights. Here we see the Toucan crossing. As you can see it's a combined cycle lane and pedestrian crossing. Normal traffic lights so you have to wait for green. The Pelican is the only crossing with a flashing amber. On this one you'd stop at the red light, cyclists would ride across, pedestrians would walk across and then you would proceed when it was clear and the lights had gone back to green. Finally we'll have a look at the Puffin crossing. Again traffic light controlled but this one has sensors on top of the traffic lights which know when pedestrians are there. So if someone comes along and presses the button and walks away, it cancels and the lights stay on green. 
When the lights have gone red and the pedestrian walks across and out of this area, the lights start to go back to green immediately, so you don't get lots of cars sat around waiting for a timer to run out. OK, let's have a look at some of those in the car. Looking ahead I can see the flashing beacons which means there's a zebra crossing which gives us plenty of warning. Scanning either side and there's no one there so no action necessary. Just driving on through. So here we are coming up to a pedestrian crossing. I can see someone making the way across. I'm just going to let this car to the left out. There we see the flashing amber light, so this must be a pelican crossing. It's all clear, so we can proceed. Here we see central reservations that have a beacon on them. They are not pedestrian crossings, they are central reservations, so pedestrians can cross one side of the road and then cross the other. So if you see people stood on them, like this one we've got ahead, it's best just to carry on and they will choose when to cross on their own. Looking ahead we've got another zebra crossing, there's some people on the left, there they are crossing now. So I'm just scanning it, making sure that there's no one else and carrying on through. 